everyone I took a little bit of compost from my worm bin the other day to use for some compost tea and I'm gonna reload it up with some uh, compost from the house to feed them and I'm gonna put a little bit more worm bedding in here and also some sand this is like a quarter bucket filled with just sand from uh, like a ditch that we have on the property so worms have gizzards like birds do and they need the sand in their gizzards to be able to chew up their food basically i took a big chunk of it from right here and i've been feeding the worms right here so they should mostly be right in here they pretty much ate all their bedding what i use is cardboard I'll let it soak for a day or two and what i'll do is i'll get down to see that's the screen right there that separates there's rocks on the bottom of this and it drains out the leachate from the bottom that way it just I mean, the worms aren't sitting in the water just kind of move it out the way like that so i can get this cardboard in and i've been keeping this worm bin for almost five years now and this is what i've been doing the whole time so and i'll just put the soaked cardboard definitely make sure that it soaks for several days before you do this the worms actually like to bed in that part of the cardboard right there if you ever actually take this cardboard out before they actually eat it you can rip this apart and they'll be like hiding up in there people also use newspaper i found they like cardboard the best in my situation in there fairly tight and then I'm gonna just pour this sand on top of it I add sand about twice a year to this I might have should have uh, wet this sand a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and do that was having a big maggot problem in here but they don't seem to be as bad as they were and I always make sure I cover that cardboard at least with something because it will dry out if you don't cover it up and then I'm going to just make sure I'm not overfeeding them here I'll show you some worms I said I did have a bunch of maggots in here but it seems like the worms took back their house yeah, little red wigglers. When they're pale colored like that, that means they're, that can indicate some health issues, but there's only a couple of them. Most of them are nice and a dark crimson red. They got a little bit of food, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed them. I didn't really know what was even in here, but it looks like it's some sweet potatoes. They throw that onion out. They don't want any sort of citrus. Um, I think that's passion fruit right there. So that should maybe passion fruit peel. I think it should be good. They'll like it okay. So that's it for that. I will come back in here and feed them. I feed them about once every two weeks. Um, that's one big thing. You don't want to make... I think that's probably why I got maggots some, at some point. I probably overfed them. And just the worms couldn't eat stuff in time. And it just gets real mushy and it invites maggots. So I'll probably feed them about two weeks. Um, but I should be good on the bedding for a while at least. I'll start digging from this side. And then once I dig some compost from that side, I'll do the same the same thing right over there. And I'll probably do that in like two months or so. I'll probably make another compost tea like around Christmas. I need to fill it up a lot more. It's only, you saw the depth, it's only about that deep. So, but I, I mean, I get a lot from it for right now. So, but yeah, there y'all have it. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.